All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I think my voice now is coming good and clear, right? Uh, what happened? It's Google mistake. You know, they could not, it says, could not recognize the microphone, so choose a microphone which is not the one I use. Anyway, so the problem is solved, I hope. And uh, we start our topic by saying, don't forget, please, to download the video immediately after we finish and share it with your friends. Not only share the link, because the link will not stay anyway. I don't keep my videos, and we need to download them. Today, our topic about fairy tale stories. Now, all of us we like fairy tale stories, especially when we were kids. You know, I remember when I was a kid. You know, like like all childrens. You know, like uh, uh, flying carpet, uh, Aladdin. I mean, those stories they are fun for children. And today, because of the, the, the amazing uh, graphic ability, where you can create something unreal and make it look real, uh, which is impossible before in the movie business, we can have something look amazing, you know, but still it's a fairy tale story. And graphic will not make it real. Now, Muhammad is a person who speaks for God, and he claimed that he is God sent. He got tons of stories in the Quran. Not only they don't make sense to the people at that time, they don't make sense to people at this time. Not only people at that time, they found them silly and stupid. And remember, I mean, uh, at that time, people are less educated, right? So it's very easy to make people believe in some stories. Uh, most of people don't know how to read, how to write, and no education. Education was only for specific people. Um, uh, let us say uh, some society, they are totally ignorant, you know. So it's very easy to make people believe in anything when you are naive. But even the naive Arab, they said to Muhammad, and we will show you that from the Quran, that this is nothing but the fairy tale stories of the ancient. Even the Arab, who they are uneducated, Bedouin, who live in a tent, even those naive people, Muhammad, he could not convince them with their stories. So, one of the things we hear from Muslims always, that the Quran is a book of science. I say the Quran is a book of Hopit. Is that how they say the name of the movie? Hopit? This is, uh, actually, even this movie is a lot better. The scenario, the author, he took care of many things. As an example, if you go in the Quran, suddenly you will hear about names, and there is no introduction for them. Who are they? We do not know. What they play, we didn't know. Who, what they do, what is their job? We don't know. What they live, we do not know. In the, new, in the movie, you see that this guy is a brother for this guy, and this guy is from this family, and they live in such a land. And you will see even the trees who they are moving in the movie, there is introduction for them. Even the talking tree. In the Quran, there is no introduction for anything. Suddenly, a name jump in front of you from the middle of nowhere. And if you search the whole book, which is called the Quran, you will not find any reference about who is this person. As an example, Israel. If we ask the Muslims, Israel, who is Israel? They don't know. Okay. Who is Idris? We don't know. Saleh? We don't know. Where they live? They don't know. They don't know. I mean, there's tons of names. They know nothing about them. They are there. And one of the funny things Muslims, they say to us, that at that time, Allah, he challenged the Arab to make Quran like him. Not only I find this challenge is very silly, because if I am God, I mean, what kind of a challenge to say, okay, make a book like me, I'm Allah. You know, this is silly. I mean, uh, Allah competing with a human. But only Muslims, they claim nobody can make Quran like this. But look what the Quran said. The Quran get the lies busted. The Arab at that time, they said to Muhammad, this is a silly, stupid book, and if we want, we can make something like it. Read it. This is a chapter 8, verse number 31. You go anywhere. They says the Arab, he challenged him to make like it, and they told him, no, we cannot make like it. 
Well, they, they did not say we cannot make like it. They say this is a silly book. It's a fairy tale stories. And not only that, they said to him, we heard the stories. We heard them. All your stories you told us, it's a stupid fairy tale story. We heard them before. This is the tale of the ancients. So how the tale of the ancients became the tale, the tale of Allah? You know what I mean? How the tale of the ancients became the tales of Allah. So this is our topic today. Please, guys, invite your friends. Many people lost connection with our previous podcast because we have difficulty with the sound. Uh, I found a genie in the genie. If you go right now and search in Google about having sex with the genie, you will find tons and tons of ridiculous books. Muslims believe if you have my book, Sex and Allah, Muslims believe that a genie, he will have sex with his wife. There's a guy he called in TV station. He say, "Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum assalam, brother. I have a question, brother. Well, okay, what question, brother? Hey, brother, I opened the door of my uh, wife's bedroom and I saw her doing things to herself. You know, she is touching herself. And now the other, I mean, there is no shame in Islam. I mean, the guy is calling, calling TV, live TV. Millions will hear this, that his wife, she was touching her private part. And then the guy in the TV, he says to him, brother, all, uh, obviously she was having sexual intercourse with the genie. If you see in my book, you will find that there's a guy he witnessed that he saw a fire in the bushes of his wife. You know what bushes I'm talking about. And this is a proof that he was having sex with the genie. Because genie are made from fire according to the Quran. So obviously, if you have sex with the fire, you will have you, you will get in fire. You know, I mean, it's obvious. Hello. <laughs> you know, so uh, even Muhammad, he says to them, before you have intercourse, Before you have intercourse, you have to say a certain prayer. Otherwise, shaitan, he will rub himself around your private part. And he will have sex with your wife when you are doing it. And then the son will be the son of shaitan. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Anyone? So where those stories are coming from? Allah in the Quran, He challenged, He challenged mankind for many things. And one of them, that you cannot go out of the earth a mistake Muhammad he did because he never thought people would do it okay when we have a God who challenged that you cannot leave and the only one can leave is the one who get permission from Allah and those are the believers who they are going to be taken to heaven specifically the prophets First of all, where Muhammad he got the idea that there is a creatures they are called genie. You will find that the idea of a genie, the existence of a genie as a creature, goes long before Islam and have nothing to do even with the Arab. So Muhammad is a magnetic collector of stories which is exist around him. He take the story. And he make it as a part of his book and he claimed that Allah is the one who created the genie. And now Allah is challenging the genie to go out of the zone of the earth. Now here you see actually, if Allah is a true God, then he should not allow this to happen. Why? Because if you try to go out of the zone of the earth, by the way, Allah will shoot your ass with a flash of fire. Do you see it? And the funny, which make it more funny and more hilarious, the first one who went to the moon or out of the zone of the earth, it was the Kuffar, the Russian.
and here literally the, the the claim of the Muslims that Islam speak of science got busted I mean what kind of you are saying to me oh company of a human and genie leave the zone of the earth if you can and you go read the interpretation this says nobody can do that except Allah giving permission to his prophet like Muhammad he fly in the top of a flying mule and here you see the Muslims they have a they have an article speaking about Allah he spoke about spaceship what spaceship it was a it was a mule it was a creature from the family of donkeys or horses and Muhammad described it between the size it was brought al buraq who was an animal white and long in which movie we have this guy the old guy he is is that in the same movie he is riding a horse can fly the guy with the gray hair there's the magician who have a stick in his hand is that in the same movie guys <coughs> is that the same movie In the Lord of the Ring, uh, okay. Lord of the Ring, hold on. Let's search for so we can give you an idea. Lord of the Ring, all right. Here we go. Yeah, this guy, he have a horse, which is white. Let us see where we can find the... Uh, there's tons of pictures, but we want to find... Uh, we are not getting lucky. Uh... Yeah, like this, uh, this is story here. So this horse can fly, this horse can go anywhere, this horse can. So Muhammad Allah, he sent him a horse, actually not a horse, a, an animal which is between the size of a donkey and between the size of a horse. So we can say he is a mule. And here you, you ask yourself, you know, in any story in the world, there is always a witness for something. Always the stories of Muhammad, nobody saw it. It's only Muhammad who witnessed and he tell the story. God, he sent a huge animal. I was brought, al Buraq, who was an animal, white and long. And I have to be white, by the way, because Allah will not allow anything is black to enter his heaven. You know, this is this is a supremacist cult, a racist cult, where everything inside the heaven are white. To the point, even Allah in the Quran says that So, uh, the, the day where Allah will make faces black and faces white. And according to the, to the story, there is a beast will come from the ground and will have the same stick as the stick of this guy in the movie. This, this, uh, this beast, he will have a stick in his hand and he will have the the ring of Solomon, exactly like the ring of the Lord movie. And he will hit you with the ring, and he will hit you with the stick. By hitting you, he make you either black or white. Now, how in the world anyone can believe in this? How Muslims can believe in that? And the ring. And if you read the story of Muhammad, where it says, I was brought al Burak, who was an animal white and long, 
larger than a donkey but a smaller than a mule who would uh, place his hoof a distance equal to the range of horizon I mean look how small he is but look how his hoof is I mean even the Lord of the Ring he could not do that right, the movie so his hoof would he he would place his hoof a distance equal to the range of horizon I I mounted it and I came to Beit al Maqdis. By the way, there's nowhere it says, uh, like when the Muslim they say Al Aqsa. Nowhere it says that this is uh, in Jerusalem, like in the Quran. So suppose it's Jerusalem. Then he threaded it in a ring used by the prophet look at this story here now there is a ring i mean here we go okay you want the guy to 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 take a mule sent by allah and you don't want him to tie it up and he will run but hold on will allah send you a mule i mean the guy he came from the seven galaxy all the way to you to your house and now you are worried he will leave you hmm. so what we do we tie him in a ring which is used by the Prophet and then when he entered the mosque I prayed to Raka which means to boy and then Jibreel came out brought me a vessel of wine and a vessel of milk I chose the milk and Jibreel said you have to choose the natural thing then he took me to the heaven Jibreel then he asked the gate at the heaven to be open and he was hold on hold on all right do you remember this scene in the movie Do you remember it? Hmm. So Muhammad now he is in the front of the gate, and Jibril he asked the gate to be open. Interesting. And then the angels they said, "Who is with you?" What? He ordered him to open the gate. They did not open the gate right away. There is investigation first. He was asked, Who is he? Who he was? Look, the angels do not know Jibreel. I thought Jibreel is the mighty one. He is the head of the angels. Like imagine a Trump, he go on TV and nobody recognize him. He says, Who's this guy? Like, who, who is this? Uh, you know what I mean? Like, who are you? He said, Jibreel. He was again asked, and who is with you? Jibreel said, Muhammad. And then he said to him, he been asked to come? Like he been sent for? Like he, the, 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 somebody call him? Jibreel said, yes, indeed, he has been sent for. Look, look, those, the, the guys in the door, they have no idea about the new visitors. He have no idea about who is Jibreel. They never saw Jibreel before. And here you notice that the author of the story is not only a fool, he is just a too much dummy. I mean, Jibreel coming backward, forward, coming back, forward, backward, forward, back, forward. How many times Muhammad, he went, uh, 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 he received message from Jibreel. Jibreel go up to sky, come down. It's like elevator. All this time, those guys did not notice who's uh, Jibreel. And now they are asking, who are you? And this is why we say the stories of Harry Potter and uh, the Hobbit, the Lord, Lord of the Ring, are 1,000 times more, uh, I mean, written be better. We can't say logical. You know, everything there is stupid. But 
it's more logical in the story I mean at least those are men nobody claimed to be God but he claimed that they have magic etc now we have an angel of God and the other angel asking him who are you and then Jibreel he said I'm Jibreel okay what if somebody else he said I'm Jibreel how you know that the Jibreel if you could not recognize him by the look just because he said I am Jibreel yeah we will go to that uh, Isaac thank you for saying that uh, Isaac is asking let us show you the question of mr. Isaac that's a good question I encourage people always to think and you know that's mean you guys are focusing and they are learning Isaac he said well didn't the journey take 1,000 years for one way how Muhammad can make it that's a good question as long as the Quran says that you in, in order for the angels to go to to, to the sky you need 1,000 years to go up and 1,000 years to come down. Okay. So now Muhammad is going up to heaven. Muhammad is going up to heaven. This journey, which Muhammad he did in eight hours or less, according to the Quran, it should take 1,000 years just to go. And this is why we say that Muhammad obviously is a very ignorant person and he don't you know he don't know how to make a story like he always get himself busted and he got his lies exposed <coughs> uh, Qasim he's a Muslim let us show you what mr. Qasim he said I encourage Muslims to try to answer no problem if you want to call me you can call me Qasim he said well Allah can take him faster but look no problem but as you see, he is a company to the angels and a mule. So, who is the one who took him? An angel. What the speed will be? It's in the Quran. It takes them 1,000 years just to go. So don't tell me Allah can take him faster. Yes, this is can be true if the story says, okay, Allah says, Ada, uh, Allah, Allah said to Muhammad, come, and Muhammad was there. And here, you, this is exposed another point. Thank you for saying that. Because a Muslim, they say, if Allah wants something to happen, he say, be. Here we go. He want Muhammad to come to heaven. Did he say, be, and he was? No. He sent him a donkey. And I don't know what the connection between the donkey and going to the sky. As long the angel is there, I mean, why the angel don't take him? What, what, what is the need of the donkey? Hmm? The angels, Jibreel is there. So we have an animal who have a physical body, and we have an angel who obviously have physical body too, because Muhammad described the angel how big he is. He have six hundred wings. How many wings, uh, Qasim? The angels have. Is it true that the angel Jibreel have six hundred wings? Muslim Muslims how many wings the angels have according to your prophet when Muhammad he saw his angel Jibreel how many wings he have how many 600 wings and the hadith come from that we can search right now for the hadith and you will see the hadith come from that the prophet he saw Jibreel and he have 600 wings okay so Muhammad he saw an angel and he have 600 wings as you see all right but isn't it the Quran says that the angels have two and the three and four wings Here again, you notice that the author of the Quran is an idiot. Because when you make a story, you cannot say different story with different stuff. I mean, this is stupid. How the Quran says that this is the how, how this is how Allah He created the angels. That's it. Okay, how He created the angels? Let us see. Hmm. 
<laughs> All right. Let us go here. All right. Alhamdulillahi fatiru samawati wal arda ja'ilu al malaikati etc. Okay. How what Allah he made? He made the angels with two wings, three wings and four wings. And he multiply his creation what he will. But he told us what he made the angels that's it. And this is in the time of Muhammad, the angel who met with Muhammad, he must have one of those numbers. So how the Quran says the angels they have two wings three wings by the way how you can have three wings hmm. let that let it let it I mean okay three wings what we can do one in the middle so two wings three wings and four wings right but Muhammad he said in the hadith that he saw an angel with 600 wings so one of them is lying either the one who wrote the Quran is lying or the one who made the hadith is lying but both of them are Muhammad. A Sahih Muslim, he was saying how they can, uh, uh, he, how Muhammad was able to count the the, uh, uh, the numbers of the wings. I, I will tell you how. You know, we are very, we are Arab. We are very, we are very fast. We have to admit here. Come on. Sorry, uh, Sahih, you are not an Arab. We are Arab. We can count. I mean, you you just put in front of me like one thousand cucumber. Just tell me that there are 1,000 and I will count them right away. In a second, I will tell you it's 1,000. Yeah, we are up. We can count anything very fast. I mean, it's very easy. You know, uh, Jibreel, he have a tag in his chest. It says, Jibreel with the 600 wings. Hello? Like, come on. I mean, don't make it complicated for Muhammad. He can he can give you any answer you want. Uh, he can call Zakir Naik. Yeah, you ask Zakir Naik how Muhammad he was able to count that he have 600 wings he will give you the answer in a very sharp way he's very smart but the theater a christian they ask how the prophet was able to count the number of the wings and especially he the flying it's impossible it's very easy if you buy a suit that doesn't have a number in it so i don't need to look at your suit moving or what i need to see is the number of the suit and that's it i will get it so this is the real he is in the side of 600. did you watch the movie it's called the 300 from sparta why they call them the 300? They are, can keep keep moving, but because they call themselves the 300, so everybody knew that they are 300, but nobody count the 300. So it's like that. I got you busted, and you know it. I mean, isn't it easy? Everybody knows that Jibril have 600 uh, wings. So Muhammad, he got a number from there. Hello, he did not count them. You cannot deviate Zach and Naik. Come on. By the way, I just made Zach and Naik did not say that. This is my all the uh, unless I say Zach and Naik, he said, and I mean it, then uh, this is I just I made up. So what do you think, Muslims? <clears throat> How in the world this guy he can be a prophet of God? I mean, he is one guy, one witness, one message, one messenger one god his name is allah but the story doesn't match so what's happening how muhammad know to count that's very easy my friend <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> i will tell you like once i was in the highway driving and i heard in the news they were saying uh you know i as you know i'm an arab so they were saying uh, uh, an, an Arab guy driving in the highway uh, uh, 102 and uh, he is driving in the wrong direction. I heard them in the news. I heard the news I, that, that the radio was there. Uh, and I said to myself, this radio station is stupid. I mean, it's not only one. I start counting just to show you how I can count. I said, one, look how many. They are driving in the wrong direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They, I mean, until I arrived to 600, there was 600 people driving in the wrong direction, 
and I did not notice it was me. I mean, come on, obviously it's me who is driving in the wrong direction, right? But because we are Arab, we think we are the right one and everybody in the wrong direction. He never thought that this is speaking about him. But it's because it's impossible, brother, we are Arab. So are you saying to me that the Arab prophet who is an Arab like me, he uh, got it wrong? You're no way. You're, 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 you know, the, uh, you don't please. Uh, we are the Arab, we are the best. And forget about the rest. Uh... Yeah, and this is a true story. I mean, do okay. I have no witnesses for the stories, but Muslims, they believe, millions uh, believe in a stories have no witnesses. Why my story need witnesses now? The funny that in the Quran, if you if you accuse somebody of uh, adultery, you need to have four witnesses, and the four witnesses have to see the intercourse happening. Not I don't want to have to scrape like not only they are like you see a man and a woman naked in the bed No, 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 not only you see them moving, you know, we cannot describe you have to see the private part of the man going in and out in and out If you don't see that there's no adultery. This is Islam and this is the Quran by the way Four witnesses in the Quran Muhammad he explained it. he says The same as the pen go in the inkwell yeah, this is how you have to see the private man, man uh, going inside the private part of the women. Okay, this is impossible. Uh, you go to the bedroom, you find yourself, your your, your wife having sex with somebody, uh, the cable guy. What do you say, the cable guy? Hey, wait, I'm going to call for witnesses, and please, can you show us how you do it? He will not let you see. But anyway, this is a different topic. But as I'm saying here, I mean, everything in Islam, even even uh, uh, like just adultery, need for witnesses. How come Muhammad have no witnesses? So as you see, the stories of the same book, the same author, the same prophet does not match with the story of the same prophet, the same book, the same God. Nothing match. What do you think? Do we have any Muslim want to call me? Anyone? Who is a Muslim, a Muhammadan, he think? He can prove me wrong. Uh, somebody sending me uh, images like somebody making fun of Christian Prince. Don't talk to them. You see, when you do that, you fuel them. They, they need you. The one who have a grave, you just say to them two words. Don't debate with those Muslims. Don't, there's no debate with the Muslims. You, on, you do that. Just tell them, okay, if you are a man, call him. Get him busted life on air. This guy, he keeps saying, who gonna call me? Why you don't call him? They make fun of me in Facebook. And then you do want to defend me. Why you want to defend me? No, don't, I do not need anyone to defend me, please. If there is one of them, he have the courage and the knowledge. We are life on air. I do not need anyone to defend. I'm here. You go on YouTube, all the Muslim channels. You will not find one of the of them there to have open Skype to call to ask questions about Islam. They don't. Right, and because they cannot answer, eh, when the lion is up, eh, the cats disappear, the fox, the hyena, you know, they disappear. The cat uh, go appear only when the lion is not there I'm not saying I'm the lion because uh, even the lion have his stories in his time it would be funny we showed you just yesterday how the prophet of Allah he claimed that when the lion he sneezes, there's two cats come from his nose one is male and one is female I'm afraid to sneeze now. 
Otherwise, all of them, they are heroes. All the Muslims can refute me. <clears throat> Have you ever heard of a Muslim? He cannot refute me. No way. You know, yesterday in the video yesterday by the way always when you when when we make a video you don't find it no more in my channel just search for the same title and go to filter filter like 20, last 24 hours ago and then you will find a list of people downloading my videos and I'm very thankful for them you can watch it there and you can download it too <coughs> all right so who is the Muslim would like to call us and tell us what is how how Islam can be from God? Why they they say to us that Islam is a is a uh, they have science, Islam uh, Quran is a book of science. Like yesterday, we have a Muslim who called me, and he said, "What about fingerprint? We got we got that busted. Uh, what about else? What uh, he, he mentioned many things. We got them busted. It's a lie." So who is the Muslim want to call us right now? Any Muslim? <clears throat> the only speed of light I know. I mean, are you saying to me the donkey of the prophet was in the speed of light? If this is the case, well, the, the, the donkey did not pass not even like uh, one to a billion from the distance to go out of our galaxy <clears throat> anyone is it true that Jibreel in Allah throne as I know it's Muhammad in Allah throne there's tons of stories about you know Muhammad, uh, Muhammad and his family and Ali, etc. You know it's madness. Uh, Mahdi is saying every year a miracle happen in the name of uh, 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 what his name uh, Hussein. Look at this guys. Do you know CP? That every year a miracle happened on the day of Ashura. Okay, let, let, let's see. Look like your 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 Hussein. He activate his miracle only in the day of Ashura. I mean, your Ashur, your Hussein. He did not make any miracle when he was alive, and he said all stupid things. What about Ali? Is no different. What about Muhammad? Miracle happened in the name of Hussein. Like what? Breastfeeding for adult. Muta. Since when? Miracles happen, but uh, Hussein. Yeah, right. You're a prophet. He spent his life. He could not heal even a cat. According to Muslims, the children of Muhammad, they die. And he could not do anything about it. Is that right? What miracle? The only miracle is how somebody he have uh, you know he in the age of computer and internet he believe in such a garbage. This is the only miracle. Flying carpet, the prophet, prophet Solomon. He wanted a bathroom. Anyone save the link we read from before about uh, King Solomon and his ring? If somebody have it, uh, save me that English one. If you somebody have it from the admin, you can please post it so we can put it in the screen. Guys, look at the story Muhammad he came with. Prophet Solomon, he have a ring. And obviously this ring belonged to the Lord. The Lord of the ring. Okay. Suleiman. He cannot take the ring which is given to him by Allah to the bathroom. So what Suleiman he did? Each time he want to go to the bathroom, he have to take off the ring from his hand. Hmm? Huh? 
Everybody want everybody wanna steal the ring. Everybody wanna steal the ring. Shaitan, when Suleiman he went to the bathroom, he came and he took the ring. He came in the look of Suleiman. Look how crazy this stuff is. He put the ring in his hand and right away he became the king and Suleiman he became a porter who carries stuff for people in the street poor and he was kicked out from the palace because in Islam all what you need to do to be a king is just to get the ring and I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying Anyone? And how Suleiman he got the ring? Oh, I don't want to forget to mention what happened in, during that time. Suleiman, now he kicked out from the palace, but the shaitan, he took the look of Suleiman. And now he started having sex with his wives. How the wives of Suleiman, they noticed that this is going to be the true Suleiman. Anyone remember? How the wives of Suleiman they notice that this is cannot be Suleiman, the real Suleiman, even though he look exactly like Suleiman. They notice because he is so good in bed. The guy he never take a break. Dragon, 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 then then dragon, 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 then then who's next? Dragon, dragon, then then dragon, dragon, dragon. Who's next? Dragon, 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 then then. A prophet, do you want to take a break? I cannot take a break. I can't stop. Next, dragon, 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 then then dragon, dragon. And like the one, the woman, like what the heck? What? How this guy can do it? He never. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Do you want to eat? No, I cannot eat. Next, who is the next woman? Dragon, dragon, dragon. Do you want to go to the bathroom? I don't go to the bathroom. And the next woman, next woman. Come on, faster. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Non stop, boom, boom. And this is how they notice this is cannot be our husband. We believe it. For sure, you believe it. You are a Muslim. And then they reported Suleiman, the fake Suleiman, I mean. To the elders of the kingdoms and now the elders they start investigating the story this is one of the elders and he asked him like really is that how he had sex are you sure i mean how you must believe in those stories you tell me Let us see if we can find the website in English, a Muslim website. All right. Okay, <laughs> we found a website, but I'm not sure if this is telling us the whole story. Uh, let us see. All right. Uh, okay, here we go. Just to show you, we are not making things up here. The, by the way, the Muslim they have many versions of the story. I mean, even Muhammad, he, because Muhammad he have many versions of the same story. As usual, all liars they do that. Whenever Suleiman he would go to answering the you no know, nature, uh, the call of nature, like farting, whatever. Uh, he would remove the ring and give it to his servant. In different story, it's his wife and her name is Jarada. One day, Shaitan fooled the servant and took the ring away. 
and wear it himself at the same moment all jinn and a human and shaitan and birds and animals came to his presence to obey him because that's it he got the ring hello and you are telling me that Islam is not scientifically accurate hello the guy he just put the ring in his finger and all animals human chickens birds turkey to even turkey even rabbits cats meow fish everybody dolphin hey dolphin come over he uh, we got a new king who wore a new ring the magical ring so that's it i get the ring and then i control the whole world brother yes brother and brother this story is absolutely truthful because this ring by the way is very very special in power brother in case you do not know i have a ring like that but because i'm nice i don't want to control you hmm? just because i'm nice Otherwise, you will be in a very horrible situation. You know? Actually, in the other day, I used uh, my ring. You know? I put my ring in my hand, and I hit the remote control, and I was controlling the TV. I take the ring off, the, control, the remote control doesn't work. By the way, what they call it remote control if you need the ring to make the TV work with it? See? They lie to you. They say... Uh, no you cannot you see this is a miracle i was able to control the tv by when i wear the ring the remote control work actually i had to change the battery too to be honest with you do we have any muslim here have anything to say and here the muslims are so excited to tell us about what happened when he said suleiman came from out from the toilet i will never go to the toilet I will if I have this ring, I will never go to the bathroom. You know what? I will take the bathroom with me wherever I go. I will do it standing in the balcony. So when Suleiman came out of the toilet, he could not find the ring. Like, what the heck? Where is the ring? And then he saw that the kingship was taken away. Oof, 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 oof. It happened to me exactly with my laptop. True story. Hello. What is the scientist and the science? And you want me to convert to us now? You love that sound, Katy? Okay. Hey, uh, Katy, uh, uh, listen, this is guys just for Katy because she loved that song. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, but three, uh, we can say it more than three times. That's it. The prophet says, even if you go to the bathroom, you have to shake it three times. That's it. We have to be consistent with Islam. And then, brother, he left the place and he came to the shore of the river. Oof, oof, oof. People of the Israelis so the behavior of satan which is different from suleiman between two bracket because they missed to tell you something you see when they when they told you that he came to the bathroom and he fooled the servant it was not the servant really it was his wife and they did not tell you that he took the look of suleiman but he had between two bracket but he had to change the face to suleiman if, 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 if. he changed his face to suleiman are you sure, brother? Yes, brother. So now we have two Suleiman. We have Suleiman the devil, and we have Suleiman the king. How we can recognize which Suleiman is Suleiman? Allah knows best. All right.
so he has the face of Suleiman as you see and he had sat on his chair these two traditions are rejected by the Shia ulama and uh, th Suleiman was a prophet of Allah he is safe from pure of such a sort of sin so the Shia are saying this is a Sunni story we reject the story okay what the Shia story is what the Shia story <laughs> Supposedly the Shia story is better than the Sunni story <laughs> Brother, what is the Shia story? Imam said, uh, Mankut means uh, completely, okay, and then he says, uh, Let us see. Hmm. You see, here, like they are mixing between Sunni and Shia. I want to see what the Shia say because this. One reason that this man was sitting in his throne and he said that tonight I will have sex with 70 women and each will give him his uh, will give him a birth to a son and he will fight for Allah. Allah, by the way, Suleiman was ISIS too. Suleiman was ISIS, man, he's a big member in ISIS. And he decided in one night he will have sex with 70 women and all of them they will like boing, 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 they will give like babies and he will fight. For the sake of Allah, with this, I mean, what's wrong with this guy? He was not thinking about sex all his life. Suddenly, he decided to sleep with seventeen. I mean, okay, where have you been yesterday? Uh, what about the week before? Now, suddenly, you decide like he was like thinking, how I can do jihad? How I can do jihad? Okay, ah, okay, get my women for me. I want to have sex with all of them in one night. By the way. Uh, well, uh, I don't know how Suleiman he can only have sex with 70. We Arab, we can do like, I mean, I don't know. Uh, my grand grandfather, uh, this is a true story, by the way. It exists in Sahih al Bukhari. Allah, he sent him a dish, it's called Al Kufayt. And he got the power of 40 men. My grand grand grandfather, his name is the Prophet Muhammad. It looked like Allah, he gave uh, Suleiman the same uh, power, you know, the Kufayt, Shish Kabab. So then, he start having sex with the wives but he forgot to say inshallah look what did how you do that inshallah which mean by Allah willing or Allah willing so because he forgot to say inshallah Allah gave him none of the women was able to give him birth to a baby except one she gave him a child who is in disability do you see what happened when you don't say inshallah before sex actually if i get married i'm going to print in the forehead of my wife inshallah to remember that i don't want to get uh come on or maybe i will print it in her chest or maybe in her cheek or maybe even in her lips so whatever she speak to me i remember to say inshallah we go to what if the room is dark okay i get a solution there's a shiny uh, phosphor uh, uh, ink you turn the light they shine I mean just look at the technology how it's helping a lot these days yeah you can write in her chest inshallah in dark even is going to shine and you can install there like a word inshallah by LED light I mean come on stop making excuses not to say it Hmm. Yeah, neon light, neon light. Yeah. Actually, the prophet he said that when his mother she gave birth to him, a light reached all the way. The palaces of Damascus came from her vagina. This is was the first nuke made by the Arab. Okay, hold on, hold on. Just a little bit. I'm just trying to understand what happened here. I mean, why are you guys, you remind me of those things. Why? 
So Muhammad is in Mecca. This is Damascus, and this is Mecca. His mother, she is giving birth to him. A light came from her private part. May Allah bless it. And went all the way to Syria and Damascus. If, 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 if. How that happened, brother? How that happened? From Mecca all the way to Syria and Damascus. Okay, I, I have a question. Why the light went in one direction? That is a very, very smart. Uh, if you ask question to, if you ask the question to Zaki Naik, he will say you, you. I can tell you that you are stupid. I am a doctor, and you know it. Obviously, because it came from her private part. So obviously, her back it was in the direction, and her leg it fit in the mascot. So it's very normal that the light is going to travel and go to the mascot. And this is how I silence me. The funny, the light went all the way to the palaces of Damascus, and people who live in Mecca, they do not see it. Not even the neighbor. But we have to admit, everything in Islam have witnesses. Isn't it the Muslim they witness to Muhammad? The Shahada is a witness. The word Shahada in Arabic means witness, which means you witness that Muhammad is a prophet. But you do not need to witness anything except just say the two words and that's it. Witnessing anything is not necessary in Islam. Who witnessed this miracle? That the light came from the private part of Muhammad's mother and she went all the way to the palaces of Syria. Anyone knows in the books of history in the time of Muhammad, any historian wrote, there suddenly a light came to the palaces of Syria. And what happened between? People of Saudi Arabia did not see it. People of Jordan, people of Israel, people of Lebanon, nobody see it. Only uh, well, from, from the private part of Muhammad's mother all the way to Damascus. What about what? The curvature of earth? Hey, Isaac, I don't know what that word means, my friend. Uh, you know, my English is limited. What curvature? What does that mean? You scare me with that word. Well, this word is scary. It's like Hori Buter thing. Curvature? Is that English? Man, English people, they have really words. You know, first time I came to America, a guy from the church I went to, he want to be nice with me. He said, are you hungry? I said, yes. I was really hungry. And he said, okay, let us eat hot dogs. And my head starts spinning. The guy want to feed me hot dogs. Wow, how sick. And he claimed to be Christian. Hot dogs. He said, let us uh, eat hot dogs. I said, no, no, I, no, no, I don't want. Uh, he said, you just said you are hungry. I said, no, no, I'm not. I was, I was kidding with you. <laughs> I mean, he want to feed me hot dogs. You believe me, those American? Kuffar, infidel, dirty, hot dogs, show mercy. Are you Chinese? You eat dogs? Unbelievable. So uh, since then, I don't uh, eat hot dogs. Sorry. Don't come on. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Isaac is talking to me because the earth are round. Yeah, but I don't know what that word mean. The light go to Mecca, to, from Mecca to Damascus. <laughs> yeah, because the earth is a flat. Maybe it's, she was shooting like missiles, you know. But the light, as I know, travels straight. Doesn't go like in curves. Unless you put like a glasses in the way or something. Or reflection, a mirror of something. So do we have any Muslim who want to say something to us? Yeah, I know, I know what curve mean, man. Each time you talk to a woman, she said to you, I'm curvy. Like, come on, I know what curve means. You think I'm, I was joking. You think that, do you think really I'm so ignorant in English? I am the one who taught the American what the word gay mean. I used to go to chat rooms and I say to them, hello, gays. And they, they kick me out. I thought I'm saying to them, hello, guys. 
but it turned to be geese. But I wanted to say hello, guys. But by the way, I was doing it on purpose. Otherwise, my English is like Shakespeare. Actually, even Shakespeare is an Arab. His real name is Shakespeare. But we are very humble, and we try like, okay, we don't want to show off, and etc. We are the one who created zero, and this is why we stay in the zero. We don't have one, we don't have minus. We are in zero. We created the zero, we stay with zero. And by the way, the one who created zero is not an Arab. Jabir ibn Hayyan is not an Arab. He is a Yazidi. Some even say he was a Christian, but I believe he is Yazidi. Do we have any uh, curved uh, Muslim? Any curved Muslim? Who is a Muslim want to show us something smart in this religion? Until now, I did not see anything. You see, I don't want to look like I'm picking up my, you know, my, my stories. Maybe you can give me a story which is not stupid. Who is a Muslim can give me a story exists in the Quran is not stupid and silly. Anyone? You love me? Okay. Each time I see somebody says to me, I love me, I get scared. Any Muslim here? Indian invented zeros? My friend, Indian invented nothing. We are the Arab. Actually, even the even curry is made by the Arab. And I will tell you how. In Arabic, we have the word kur. Kur, which means a small donkey. So we have a small donkey who was uh, born uh, uh, after his mother. She passed away four years after. Because his mother, when she gave birth to him, uh, it took her a lot, a lot of time, four years, which when she is dead, but she is giving birth. Sit down, guys. I will tell you the story, how we made, how we made the curry. So anyway, this dog, uh, sorry, it was a donkey, right? Okay, this dog who is born after the donkey, uh who how is a dog in the porn of a donkey it happened in the islam it happened i can show you stories i mean everything is wrong in islam i mean why you are why you guys are telling me what is the proof of the story it doesn't match nothing match in the quran and the proof in front of you so who is a muslim when to tell me that i'm wrong hmm? i like curry too i like indian people too they are very beautiful people very nice people Once, uh, once an Indian doctor he invited me to his house, and he told me I would I all I told my wife not to put too much spices because I know you cannot handle it. And guys, he did not put too much spices. My head was like a shower head. I was drinking water like an elephant. He keeps saying to me, "Are you okay?" Mm -mm, I can't even talk. I cannot even. My lips is is burning. My throat. I don't even feel it. I don't want to tell you what happened to me when I went to the bathroom. <laughs> and he told his wife not to put too much spices, supposedly. This is little. I mean, I will not remember that day. So since then, if an Indian friend, he would invite me somewhere, I will bring my food with me. As simple as that. Safe and safety first. Anyway. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? No, no, no. Actually, he was a he was a Hindu. He is a he is a very from a very uh, big family in India. Yeah, very nice guy. Him and his wife, they are wonderful people. Actually, very very polite, very nice people. And the guy, you know, like for him, they they uh, they had a big fish, you know, and but too much spice. It tastes so good, actually. It, the food it tastes so good. I love spice, but I can because for them they eat spice always, so they are used to it, you know. So. Because the more you eat spice, the more the spice kills the, what they call them, the ones in your tongue. By the way, even those, we are the one who discover them, the Arab. Before us, nobody discovered that. Yeah. The Quran even says that when Allah, he burned your skin, Allah will replace the skin. How Allah knew that the feeling in the skin? Ma magic, science. Nobody knows that. Do we have any Muslim here? <clears throat> yeah, the test buds. I mean, look at the English guys. They call the things buds. 
So a friend, he, uh, an American guy, he called his a friend buddy, and then they call the things in your tongue buds. What's wrong with those American earbuds? Everything in their language is bud. A bud Spencer. What's wrong with this religion? He, even you open the book, they say to you, Mr. Brown, and Mr. Brown is white. Like. I was confused in the English like it says mr. Brown and then there is a picture of mr. Brown So what's wrong with this guy? Why he called himself mr. Brown if he's not a brown? English is missed up brother. You want to learn the truth go and read Arabic Do we have any Abdul Is my Skype open yeah, we have the lights on Hmm? By the way, uh, there is a prophet in Islam. His name is Al Khadr. Do you know what Khadr mean? Who knows what Khadr? Who, who, who many of you speak Arabic here? Khadr meaning green. But if you read the story of Mister Green, you will not believe it. The reason they call him Green because he. Uh, he drank from the fountain of youth the fountain of life sorry let me find you the hadith hold on Okay. I'm trying just to find you. The story. What is the story? <clears throat> Here we go. Guys, this guy Al Khadr. I don't know if I, I should read the whole story for you because the, if I want to read the story, you guys you will sleep standing. This is an amazing story, by the way. <clears throat> Choose a topic that attract Muslims. Okay, let us talk about sex. I mean, what topic? Is, this is the only topic attract Muslims: sex. Or they believe in Allah because Allah will give them versions. I mean, isn't it obvious this will attract them? How Allah He attract us to believe in Him? Powerful private part. Women they have a butt which is in the size of one mile. And by the way, I'm so upset. I mean, only one mile. Or make it two miles. What you will lose? Only one mile butt. I mean, how cheap? And what if my wife she wanna do poo poo? And she have one mile butt. Mean I can sell her poop for like manure. A lot of money involved here. And even I can use her fart as a destruction weapon. You put a candle and she fart, you burn everybody in the way. And now look at the story. I said <clears throat> to Ibn Abbas, bra 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 okay, bra 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 okay, okay, and uh, that okay, and I saw the al Khadr. You see here al Khadr, this is Mr. Green. Now, to understand why he's called Mr. Green, then later you will find that he found or he, he drank from a fountain. It's called Aynul Hayat. Anyone knows what Aynul Hayat mean? Aynul Hayat. The spring of life. Spring of life, yes. You drink from it. Even if you are dead, you are coming back to life. And you are telling me Islam teach not teach science? They believe that there is a fountain. It's called the fountain of life. And whoever drink from it and even touch it, not only drink. And the reason Al-Khadr was called Al-Khadr, which means Mr. Green, wherever he sat, 
even if the grass is dead, the grass will come back to life, will become a green. This is why they call him Al Khadr. For whatever he put his ass in the ground, grass grow. In other way, we can say Al Khadr, he have a blessed ass. Al Khadr is alive, according to Muslims. He, he will never die because he drank from the fountain of youth and he, or the fountain of life. He lived there too. So, this is why, according to Muslims, he attended the funeral of Prophet Noah and he attended the funeral of Prophet Sulaiman and he attended the, the funeral of Prophet Muhammad. Look like this guy, he have a hobby. He attended the Prophet uh, funerals. Anyway. So Allah told Sulaiman to find this person, Al Khadr, who is a prophet higher than you. Take with you a fish. Look, Allah speak to Musa and he says, Musa, he thought he is the only one who learned best in this earth. A man he came to Musa after deliver a sermon. Uh, uh, he is a Jew. He said to him, Who is the most learned person among the people? Which means about mankind. Suleiman, he thought he graduated from Harvard University. He said, <laughs> me, <laughs> me, <laughs> you know. But look, Allah, he was listening. He did not like that. So he said to him. Then he admonished Musa and he told him not to describe, ascribe uh, uh, all the knowledge to Allah and then come to divine inspiration and say, there is, yes, one of our slaves, at the junctions of the two seas is more learned than you and Moses when he heard this like like he would like what there's a guy he learned more than me and where at the junctions in the two sea the junctions of two seas anyone knows what is that what is the junctions of the two seas Who knows? Okay, let us go to the map. In Arabic, it's called Al Bahrain. In English, today you call it Bahrain. Bahrain. Do you see it? This is what he's talking about. Bahrain. Bahrain is an island, and now they make a bridge between it and Saudi Arabia. All right. And the reason they made the bridge because they want to be sure that the Shia will not take over the island. So Bahrain is a very tiny, small island. And there is many stories about it that in the Bahrain, there is the fountain of life. And this is, goes back to the Persian. Because this is used to be controlled by the Persian in certain time. And this is a story published and you know spread and believed in by many. And even you can read the story of a very famous story. It's called Gilgamesh. I don't know how many of you uh, heard of Gilgamesh. Anyone heard of you, Gilgamesh? Nobody? Nobody heard of Gilgamesh? Hmm. Yeah. You can read the stories. Those are ancient stories, and you will see how the story of... Uh, fountain of life is uh, exist in those stories the guy who searched for the meaning of life and he want to find the the cure for people to live forever and then he start looking for the fountain and blah 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 and this is al khadr al khadr is coming from those stories which is coming from the north of uh, uh, you know north of uh, syria persia etc spread all over we don't know really exactly who is the first come with this story but it's spread all over there and this is why you will see in the hadith here it says the junctions of the two c the fact doesn't say that it says Al Al Bahrain. you see this is the word in arabic and this is ex exactly the same name for the country of bahrain today bahrain mean two c's the two c's so and here it says Allah, he says to him, yes, one of our slaves at the junctions of the two seas, Al-Bahrain, more learned than you. Musa says, oh my Allah, how I can meet him? Allah said, take with you a wheel. 
a wheel, not a fish. In Arabic, it says hood. In the basket and the wherever a fish, uh, the fish is lost, follow it. Look, the fish is dead. And now the fish will escape the basket and follow it. This is the first zombie fish. Do we have any Muslim listening? If there is any Muslim listening. So the guy, he will take a fish, he put it in the basket. He walk all the way from Jerusalem all the way to Bahrain, which is going to take him maybe two months. And then there, I mean, how the fish can stay? I mean, the fish will not survive. The, the fish is dead. Two months with, with no freezer. Put it in the basket. I mean, how, how long it take this guy to go from here to here? To make it simple for you, this is Bahrain, brother, and this is Israel. So Moses, is brother, he is going to go from here to here, uh, which is like almost, I think, a thousand five hundred kilometer only over a donkey, maybe. And he had a fish in the basket. Mm. Okay. I'm really convinced. I don't know. I feel like I want to watch Harry Potter again. And then, brother Suleiman, oh, sorry, Musa's, not Suleiman, uh, he did what Allah told him. He took a fish or a whale. I don't know how he can carry a whale, but anyway, make it a fish smaller. And then he put it in the basket as Allah told him. So Musa said along with his attendant, his name is Yeshua. Yeshua ibn Nun. Here you notice how the name is fabricated. Do you know what Nun mean? Do you know why they said Nun? Why they call it Nun? Yeshua ibn Nun. Noon mean fish. <clears throat> Noon mean fish. So this is a guy whose name is Yeshua, the son of the fish. He makes sense. The servant who will take care of the fish is the son of a fish. So he's a fishy story. Or the son of the whale. If you remember, there's a verse in the Quran that says Noon. Noon. Remember? And we showed you how the noon, the whale, is carrying the earth, and the and the and the and the, and the whale was carried by a bull, the hamut, the hamut, you know, right? You forgot? How many of you forgot? The one who forgot, stand up and in one in one foot, next to the door of the classroom. Anyone who forgot the story of noon, stand up and uh, next to the uh, door, in one foot for fifteen minutes. You cannot forget this. This is science, brother. This is pure science. Noon is an Arabic letter, not a fish. No, my friend. This is not a letter first. Noon is not a letter. Here is a name. Uh, you, want, you want, okay. Are, are you a Muslim? The one who says to me, Noon is an Arabic letter, not a fish. Tank Battle website. Are you a Muslim, my friend? The one tank battle because I can prove it to you if you want you're an atheist okay you are from those who believe that you are a monkey okay welcome to the zoo no my friend what happened there's a dog is barking hold on we have a dog party there Okay, uh, if we go in the Quran, we will find the following for the atheist guy. Noon is a letter. No, this is a word. Uh, 
it is a letter for the ignorant and we are not all right we go in the Quran and we read the tafsir All right, let us read together. This is the chapter 68, verse number one. Noon wal qalam wa ma yasturun. And from his narration, I don't know how, the, how much the text is clear for you guys. Let me see. From his narration, the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, regarding interpretation of Allah saying noon, noon swear by noon which is the whale that carries the earth on its back while in water and beneath which is the bowl and under the bowl is the rock and under the rock the dust and none knows what is under the dust save allah here we have to like a background the music like Doo -doo 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 because like this is like no one knows what is behind the dusk save Allah I mean that's that's it we Muslims our knowledge is stop here sorry we cannot tell you more more information called the customer service of Allah and noon is coming from the Aramaic language which is a fish so when Muslims they stole a name it is this this is not a letter really it is a name of a fish they stole it they put it in the Quran and here we go the story is coming with it noon is carrying the earth and by the way this is true it's a proven scientifically that noon is carrying the earth this is why you see those uh, like they call them the green uh, the green what they call them green team whatever they are fighting killing the whales because if you keep killing whales then their mother which is carrying the earth will commit suicide and this is why we have too much uh, earthquake. That's true story. And then it says here, and the name of the wheel, uh, please uh, register the name, Lewish. This is the cousin of Lewish Farrakhan. And it said its name is Lotaya. And the name of the bull is Bahamut. You can search about Bahamut. You know, by the way, the word Bahamut is mentioned in the Bible. But it's a different story here. Muhammad he make the bowl Bahamut. Okay. The same the and, and some say the name is Telahud. The Muslims are not sure about the names because there is too much confusion. Because this guy he used the way he used to use chat rooms, and each time he go, he chooses like sometimes he called himself Christian Prince, sometimes he called himself the Arabian prophet, and people get confused. So now they do not know which is a uh, Christian prince and which is uh, you know, so it's hard, it's very hard. Then here it says, uh the wheel in the sea called Edward. This is the name of the seed, sea, Edward. Uh, and it's like a small bowl in a huge sea. The sea is in a Hollywood rock. Look at this, man. Look at the details. Whereby there is 4,000 cracks. I have 4,000 cracks in my head already from this religion. And from each crack, water spring coming out. And look, the Muslims, they count how many cracks down under the wheel. Do we have any Muslim? This is science, by the way. This is proven to be accurate. There is a scientist from Japan, uh, very well known. His name is yes, uh, Suzuki. Yes, Suzuki. 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 I like Suzuki. He said this is a true story. Proven. Okay, and it's good for you. Good for you. I am the best in telling bedtime story. What about like uh, 
uh, dinner time story you guys remember only only in the bedtime and this is how boring I am and what's what's wrong with you like what about you remind me when you have a dinner like a nice fish like the, the the friend the Indian guy with a lot of curry they remember me the bedtime stories here we go Unbelievable. don't you get tired of criticizing Islam I'm not criticizing Islam my friend do you see me criticizing how I can criticize stupidity we criticize something smart you know you criticize something can be criticized I mean this is silly I do not need to convince anyone that this is stupid aren't you sick to follow this cult yourself I mean how silly it is to be a human who have a brain in the year 2019 and you believe in this hmm what to criticizing I'm not a criticize I support the Prophet Muhammad actually your prophet he says I'm a Muslim yeah he said everyone is born as a Muslim so based on your prophet I am an ex Muslim everybody is born as a Muslim you do this for money uh, Mahdi you see I did this all my life without taking a penny those uh, donation is something new ask anyone I used to open my chat room for almost 13 hours every day teach people for zero penny I have no books to sell I have no donation to collect every day every day for more than if I say 13 years I'm not exaggerating and I have many witnesses and my videos pal talk is all over YouTube you are the one who is after money Muhammad Muhammad he says don't approach the Prophet in a private consultation unless you pay him first right now are you paying me it's for free I'm a person who have degrees I can do whatever I do I can make money I do not need you I do not need anyone instead of wasting my time here losing my voice getting death threat what what money are you and how much money I made today here we go I'm here how much money I saw somebody make a donation of two dollars thank you by the way that's it so after all of this I get two dollars so Ahmadi is saying to me you are making money <laughs> so Mahdi he could not refute us so he says oh you are doing this to make money mm. oh boy Al Mahdi Al Muntazar who is waiting for Al Mahdi <laughs> Al Muntazar Anyway, yeah, but you know the Muslims always they try to discredit you. But look, let us see. You see the Quran get Muhammad busted. In one verse in the Quran, Muhammad he said the following. Oops, I'm, I hate it when I type in English, but in fact I thought I'm typing in Arabic. Error, error. This website is a website of error. All right. A brother, if you want to attend the prophet in a private consultation, pay him in the front. So he will purify you. Is that right? You're a prophet, he will not talk to you. And not only that, he promise you if you give him money he will forgive you is that right what about this your prophet is asking the Muslims to give him a loan and he claimed that this loan is for Allah and you give Allah a loan Allah forgive your sin I don't promise anyone to forgive their sin. 
you buy my books you watch my videos I am no one I forgive no sin for anyone me myself I'm a sinner if you lend into Allah a goodly loan he will double for you and he will forgive you this is your God okay who is the one who collect the loan Prophet Muhammad right and look what you did here we go see look what you did you see Maddie, what you did look people are making donation now unbelievable why you did that Maddie? why you did that to yourself okay look, look what people are doing thank you Mahdi because if you because of you now they are uh, 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 anyone who gave me money now Allah will double your reward for you and will forgive you <laughs> How in the world, if I pay God money, He will forgive me? What can I can bribe God? You can bribe God. How you can do that? So you are saying, give Him money, Allah double double for you and forgive you. So what I need more? Just give some money, and that's it. You are forgiven. You go to heaven. Allah can be bribed. My God, you cannot bribe my God. Your God will bless you, inshallah. You, look how funny you are. You just said, Allah, uh, 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 inshallah, if Allah will. But Allah, He said, He will not. Do you want to show you? Do you want to show you that Allah will not bless you? Why well, you don't call me and I will show you in front of everybody that Allah will not bless any Muslim? What do you think? If Allah cannot even forgive the sin of Muhammad, look at this. I want you to read this with me, uh, Mahdi. Allah speaking about the sin of Muhammad. Guys, what Allah He said? That Allah may forgive thee. Okay, may. You are following the God of maybe. How Allah he say me? Isn't it him Allah is talking? He's not sure. He have to talk to other Allah. Hmm? Allah says to Muhammad that Allah may be forgive your sin. Maybe what is that? This is the same as the science of the Muhammad. And they say maybe this is about science. Don't tell me show me tafsir. You show me tafsir. You are a Shia. You Shia. You don't have tafsir. You have shish kebab. Anyway, show me tafsir. It says maybe. Does it say maybe? And what kind of God he forgive the past sin and the one to come? Look, the Muslims they lie and they say that in certain time the church used to give papers to forgive sin. It's you who do that for the sake of money. We showed you the verse before it, and now we are showing you the verse where it says that Allah maybe will forgive your sin in the past and to come how you do that hey hey Roby uh, greeting from Croatia uh, my friend I want to come to Croatia really contact me in Skype I might have a trip to Croatia next uh, next uh, next winter but don't don't worry I'm not going to stay in your home I just would eat your food, okay? <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you, all those who made the nations. Thank you, God of us. Uh, so that Allah may forgive thee for the sin which in the past and the one to come. How you forgive somebody for you are encouraging him to do more sin when you say to him, the one in the past and the one to come, that's an open license for sin. We are Shia, we are not allowed to give our own interpretation. That is the most stupid answer ever I heard. Guys, we are Shia, we are not allowed to give our own interpretation. The second you call it interpretation, it is your or your interpretation. I mean, how silly you are. The second you say, we have interpretation, this interpretation is made by who? By God? No, by a man. So this is your interpretation, why you are a fool. And why cannot find a Muslim he have some intelligence when he answer me? We are Shia, we don't have. Okay, you know what? 
let me show you the Shia interpretation. Do you want to see the Shia interpretation? Isn't you who was here yesterday and we talk about the Shia? It's you, right? It's you who says to me, show me the Shia hadith, right? I mean, it's funny. Shia. Let us laugh with the Shia. We are Shia. Hmm. Do you believe in the words of Ali or you don't? Is Ali the who is a qualified to give you interpretation of anything? What do you think? Who is the one who says it's okay to drink the piss of the Imam? And even to drink their blood and to eat their poop and the one who eat it Allah forbid him from entering hellfire are you there Mahdi who is the one who said that hmm? this is your books but let us show you something more, uh, more nice. <clears throat> uh, one of the names of Allah is Ah. Uh. <laughs> is that true? Mahdi, are you there? Is it true that one of the name of Allah is Ah? You said we Shia, we don't give our own interpretation. I want to ask you, where you get this from? That one of the names of Allah is Ah. Are you there? Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, what is that? We have a caller. Is he a Muslim or not? A Muslim Abdul want to call you and debate you, and he said he will lose. Okay, this guy here, a Muslim Abdul, wanna call me. Okay. Okay, so what you call me? Today is zero Muslim. Not even a single Muslim he did call me. Not even one. So are you there, Mahdi? How Allah name became Ah? Ah? Where your Imam came brought this from? It sounds like I don't know. Somebody doing something wrong with this ah. Look at this. You're a prophet. Your Quran says that the angels they have. Uh, guys, who who remember how many how many wings? Two and three and four, right? According to the Shia. Allah, he have an angel. His name is Khurqail. <laughs> guess how many, how many, how, <laughs> guess how many wings he have. This is Shia now. How many? Mahdi, how many? I want uh, Mahdi to guess. Mahdi, how many? Are you there, Mahdi? Okay, let's make an auction. Somebody takes 600. More. 900. No, more. 1,000. More. Twenty thousand more. Uh, this is no, this is too much now. You exceed, but you are close. 18,000 wing. 
And you will say to me, we Shia, we don't make our own interpretation. Okay, tell me from where you got those 18,000 wings story from. The Quran says you have the angels have two and the three and four. Hmm? Let us see this. The distance between the pillars of the throne of Allah one and the other is the same distance by flying of a bird in the distance of 1000 years by the way this is still small i mean what is <laughs> and the the throne of allah is covered every day by 70000 color from light and nobody can look at it from any of the creation of allah so how adam in the story of the shia he looked at the throne of allah he found the name of muhammad there and the name of Ali and the name of Hussein and everything on the throne like a ring here we go the ring again and then and Allah he have an angel is called Khurqail he has 18,000 wings the distance between a wing and the other is 500 wings <laughs> <laughs> and then brothers and then Allah he increased the size and the number of the wings more so he made some angels they have and then Allah the same same angel Allah he gave him extra 36,000 wing me and then this angel he flied for two twenty thousand years and he was flying for 2,000 years and he did not even pass the pillar of the throne number four so Allah he gave him extra power for her wings look like Allah he was making an experiment to see how far he can go and he noticed that he cannot go farther so he gave him more wings uh, it's it's a, it's a good they do that in mercedes-benz so let us do a translation Google translation where is Google translation all right, just to show you, I'm not making things up. The for short translation in Google is not really good. Okay, uh, this is about the distance between between the the thrones uh, uh, legs or the chair legs, and every day is covered by seventy thousand colors of light. Nobody come from the creation can look at it uh, except Allah, and all things in the throne in the shape of a ring. Here we go, and then. Uh, Allah he have an angel his name is Khurqail he has 18,000 wings between the wing and the wing 500 years he fly not risk uh, uh, to the throne and Allah he noticed Allah he did not have ability to because he traveled for 20,000 years but yet he did not reach even number four of the pillars so Allah increased the numbers of his wings you see it and you are telling me we Shia we don't do the same as a Sunni. Are you laughing at yourself or not? Shall I show you more? I mean, it's a, the Shia these uh, books are the most funny, stupid books. Uh, who reporter would die laughing from your Shia books? So don't tell me we are Shia, we are better. Shia don't have a breastfeeding for adult. Okay, you have you have something even more horrible. You rent your daughter for sex. It is legal in Islam if your daughter she wanna rent her private part to the neighbor and get paid five dollars. You cannot even say no. Is that true or I'm lying? Your daughter she go in the elevator. A guy he see her. He say to her, "How much you charge me for your private part? Ten dollars." She say, "No, twelve." Because your daughter, she is like not conservative, you know, she doesn't accept anything. She is very tough. So she said, no, 12 dollars. You know, the guy I did before, yesterday, he gave me even 15. But because today I don't look good, I don't have enough makeup, so I will take 12 dollars from you. So don't tell me that you are better. Don't you do muta'a in daily base in the Shia? So supposedly the Shia are better. They don't do breastfeeding for adult, but what they do, they do more. They rent. Let me show you. 
this is this is your Shia website. Give me a second. Let me show you why you should be proud to be a Shia or to be proud of Sunni because it's the same, by the way. Both of you are the same. Read with me. In some work, special term applied to women who participate in the muta. Muta mean uh, joy. In Arabic, the word muta means joy. And here it's about sexual joy. Musta'jara, which means she is rented. Musta'jara, rented women. Muta'a is a considered as a kind of rental because, in general, the man basic aim is the is, is the kind. This kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women, and in return of this joy, the women receive certain amount of money or property. So you are saying to me, we don't have uh, breastfeeding for adult, but we have this. Did you rent any women, Mahdi? <clears throat> When the last time you rent a Shia woman? Be honest with me. Hmm? When the last time you learn you rented a woman according to Allah teaching? And what kind of God does God is saying to a woman you can rent your private part in the elevator? Okay, so okay, guys, look look what Mr. Madi he said. Guys, look at this. This is Mr. Mahdi saying, We do not deny, we Shia do not deny muta. It is Sunni that ashamed Imam Ali said, If Omar did not forbid one, would nobody would commit zina? Thank you very much. Yes, I agree. Ali, he said that. But do you notice why? Because this is zina. This is adultery. Why somebody want to do adultery if everybody are renting women? This is what adultery is. Adultery is renting a woman and you pay her. You go to a hooker. You say to her, take off your panty and I will pay you. So Ali, he says, if we, if, 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 we, if people are practicing this, nobody will commit adultery because this is adultery. <laughs> renting a woman, private part, is it adultery? So why anyone want to do adultery? You just made it legal. So adultery, what Ali is saying, we in Islam we don't have adultery anymore because we did made we made adultery legal. It's legal. You go rent a woman. This is what adultery is. And actually, this is more ugly than adultery because adultery maybe a man he love a woman or they love each other and they commit sin. Here, this is just a pure sex. Correct, guys. It's more shameful, more way shameful. This is, this is, uh, uh, you know, there's no love. There's nothing between this man and the women. You know, people commit sin. All of us, we are, we are human. We, we get tempted. So here you notice here that the, the guy and the women, they don't even know each other. The purpose of this relationship is to rent her vagina to you. That's it. In return, you pay her money. So Islam make prostitution a business. Who care? Okay, guys, he says a woman, she have to wait for three months. Uh, 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 let me show you what he said. A woman, she have to wait for three months after she have sex doing muta. First of all, this is false. Because of the woman, she is over the age, which means she don't have her period no more. She does not need to wait for three months. However, if Allah said so, that means Allah is a stupid. Because why you need to wait for three months? If a woman, she have a period, the second period, it's obviously she is not carrying a child. Secondly, this is what you are worried about now. She have to wait for three months before she do the second man. So are you saying to me that the woman in Islam, she can rent herself only for time a year? And that will make her a good woman? G guys, a good, great news. Mr. Mahdi, his family females, they rent themselves only four times a year. Hello? Only four times. That mean they are decent. I have to agree now. You got me busted. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mehdi?
So your daughter she rent herself four times a year only. What a cult. This is Shia. No, my friend, this is Sunni too. Who said that this is Shia? Omar, uh, uh, Abu Bakr, and Muhammad, they practice it. And it is in the Quran. Who are you to say this is Shia? The Sunni, because they are ashamed of it. Let us see what Muhammad is said. And let us see what the Hadith says. Read carefully. This is Sahih Muslim. This is this is Sunni now. It says, "We practice muta during the lifetime of the Holy Prophet and during the lifetime of Abu Bakr and the lifetime of Omar." So, who is the one who forbid it? Muhammad? No. Muhammad die. Here we go. Muhammad die and he practice muta himself. Abu Bakr die and he practice muta himself. And Omar die and he practiced muta himself. And this is Sahih Muslim. All of you did muta, prophet and the followers and the caliphate. All of you are adulterous and adulterer. And this is your reference. It says temporarily marriage. <laughs> this is the new name you give it in Arabic it doesn't say anything about temporary marriage it says muta where in the Arabic here we go this is the hadith where it says temporary marriage this is your false translation you Muslims you call it marriage this is the hadith in Arabic and your name is worried so you should speak Arabic is tamtana ala ahdi rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallama wa abu bakr wa umar where is the marriage there there is no marriage False translation. Stantana, we enjoy it. And this is what Muta is. Nowhere it says the word marriage. But you Muslims, because you are ashamed of it, you call it temper temporarily marriage. So what you Muslim do, they, they they give different name, different definition for adultery and prostitution. They call it temporarily marriage. But as you see, the Shia are more honest than you, and they say it clearly, well, this is this is a rental. This is nothing but a rental. Totally rental deal. You you, you deny other stuff. Shia deny other stuff. Sunni deny other stuff. All bunch, bunch of you, you fight about who lie more. But the fact is, Muhammad and Allah, they are the order uh, muta. And this is a proof that Allah cannot be God. Sure, and the, and the Sunni, by the way, now they have, get my book, Sex and Allah. I have tons of reference about how Sunni they practice muta these days. They have tons of marriages names. None of them have to do with marriage. None of them have to do with anything called marriage. And by the way, uh, sex and Allah became extremely popular between the Muslims. They are they are astonished about how much reference they never have ideas exist. And I challenge any Muslim cleric or a scholar to say I'm lying. All your religion is about sex, from the from the from the A to the to the to the Z. Yet they claim that they are like we cover our women. You know, what about Kabir breastfeeding for adult? What about having sex around? And you call it to orphans, a wajul messiar, a wajul friend, you, you know, anything they call you a marriage. What about Muhammad sleeping with Zainab, claiming that Allah he married him to Zainab? Have you ever heard of a marriage without witnesses? Where is the performance of the of the marriage? How about Muhammad flirting with his own son wife and he stripped the wife from the husband? This is Islam. It's a savage, silly cult 
try to present themselves or present this religion as a decent cult but the fact cult is a cult it is silly is disgusting it is filthy and Muhammad you know no matter how much a Muslim try to protect his uh, 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 his reputation but the evil of Muhammad speed him up you can lie as much as you want while Jesus was saying that if your eye will mislead you take it away your prophet was saying go guys go do muta find women rent their vagina okay go ahead yeah have fun hmm. yeah what about your prophet asking a man to go and marry a child instead of marrying a woman what kind of a perverted man he is A man he mar married to a woman, she is widow, maybe. Muhammad, he don't like that. He encouraged him to get rid of his wife, and he is seducing him to get a virgin, a child. Why you don't get a young girl, a eh, child, eh? so she can amuse you, you can play with her. So he want him, he is making the man hate his wife, who he liked very much, and get rid of her and get a child and then the guy he says to him i cannot marry a child because my my, my brother he died and he left for me many many children so i cannot have one more child have you ever heard of a prophet like this Imagine a guy, he says to me, I'm happy with my wife. And then I said to him, why? Why you don't marry a young kid so she can play with you? This is disgusting. This is, this, this is Satan. This is literally Satan. The guy, Muhammad, is trying to tempt this man to get rid of his wife and get a child instead. And here, by the way, And here we go. This is the screen. Sorry for that. And here you see that the man, he, he's, he's not complaining to Muhammad. I mean, there's no point. If he, he did not even open the topic. Muhammad, he chased him. He says, did you marry? The guy said, yes. Did you marry a woman? Her private part is used or not used? What kind of a question this question is? What is the business of a prophet of God to put his nose between the legs of the wife of this guy? Her private part is brand new or not a brand new? What's your business? Are you prophet of God or you are a pimp? The man, he says, no, it's used. Muhammad, he says, hmm, <laughs> man, why, man? Why? Why don't you? Why don't you? Get a young child so you can play with her. And here you notice Muhammad, obviously, he's telling us what is inside him in his inner, how he think. He like sexual relationship with the children. All the child molesters, they feel the same way. There's many women around them, but they go after children. Because for them, because they are sick, they have a special joy feel toward the child. And Muhammad here is showing us how sick he is inside him. To the point he is advising his followers not to marry women who they are growing up. Go after children. And what is the wisdom of that? To play with her. Do you see the wisdom? To play with her. <sighs> and here we go. Let me give you the hadith. This is the Sahih hadith, by the way. This is all over Al Bukhari, you know, Sahih Muslim. Uh, I mean, all over. Turmudi. Here we go. And he, the man, he told him, I needed a woman so, so, so she can take, oh, uh, uh, take care over my uh, the, the girls. I don't want someone their age. I want the women to take care of the girls. He have, he have orphans. 
So Muhammad wanted him to marry a child just to pray. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. I want to say thank you for all those who support us. And uh, I hope that's... Uh, you guys download the video, share it. You can cut it pieces, by the way. The video is long. Guys, I think I should make my videos shorter. What do you think? Should I make it shorter? Should I make it shorter? Because I think shorter, we can get more viewers. People maybe don't have time to watch a video for two hours. So maybe I should make more videos shorter. And uh, and in the same time, you can, you guys, if I have a video which is long, you can cut it and repost it again. Like make a copy. Like now, we mentioned this topic at the end. You can cut this part and make it a video by itself. Like, and you can give it a title, Muhammad Advice to Married Children. Right? I don't, I don't you, don't you thank me because of me, many donations? Mehdi, not because of you, that's because of the good of them. You see, you cannot deny that the Christians, they have the, they have a good in their heart. So you mentioned that, uh, whatever you mention and then the christian remember that okay here we go let us show him that you know we are like actually we are not even doing our what we should do so it's not you it's their good it's their good move them to to help it's not you my friend but anyway you thought you are fighting me but look how it's back backfire on you you thought you are trying to say something negative about me i do my videos if people you know for long, 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 I never received donation from anyone. I do my video. People donate. They don't donate. I don't care. People ban me. I go in with different different page. Still, I don't have donation. Still, I do it. I don't care. And you know, I was doing there for for for. Maybe you were not born when I was fighting Islam. What donation? Uh, there is something very important that there is some people that try to discredit you. And they fabricate lies about you, but as you see, people they make donation, they don't make donation, they are welcome. The rich, the poor is welcome. All of you watch the video equally, and uh, don't donate. Still, you can download my video, you can watch my video, and you can get it for free. If, even if you go to my Patreon page, you will see that those who donate, they don't have a, a special treatment. Is that correct, guys? Go to my Patreon, you will see nobody have a special treatment. All my videos are open for the public, which means you do not need to donate, you watch it. And go and see all the others. You will see you cannot watch the video unless you are a member who donate. I don't do that. Watch my videos. Not only that, I ask, I mean, I ask my people, please download my videos and share it in your channel. Right, so uh, <clears throat> my friend, the Lord is our provider, and we do what we need to do because this is the right thing to do. And whatever the Lord He sent, thank you, Lord, for whatever you send. The Messiah He said, Look at the birds, they are not worried about tomorrow. I never worry about tomorrow. The Lord is my provider. This guy is calling me again. Hold on. I think it's time to block you. So, uh, uh, in Islam, we showed you the verses where it says, if you give Allah a loan, a mortgage, Allah forgive your sin. In Christianity, nobody can bribe God. Nobody. That's your God, not mine. Read it and laugh at yourself. Your God, you need a loan. Jesus, he spent his life doing miracles which nobody can do. And one of them is enough to make him the most rich person ever in history, bringing people from death. How many kings they are willing to give their kingdoms to go back to life? 
How many people they are willing to give everything they have so they can see again? How many people they are willing to give everything they have so they can walk again? He never received a penny from anyone. He never have a slave. He never own a donkey. He don't have anything. So while your God was encouraging the Muslim to fight and kill and steal, my Lord was giving his life to us for free. Not only his service. And this is why he is my Lord and not Allah, the evil God. So don't try even to compare as long you are following Muhammad. Do you have, uh, why you want to show it to the Sheikh? When I open the Hadith, ask me to post the link, I will post it for you. Now I close them all. I'm not going to start from zero. And why you don't call your Sheikh to call me? Bring your Sheikh to call me. What's wrong with you? You sit and watch. Let us see what Sheikh would do. Where is the Shia? Where is Imam Tawhidi? <laughs> Imam Tawhidi. What a funny Imam. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. And may the Lord bless you all. Thank you for the support, for those who download the video, and for those who donate, and for those who hate me too, because your hate is a blessing to me. The Lord, he says, in my name they will hate you because of me they will discriminate you even they will kill you time will come and they will think by doing by killing you doing favor to god but which god ask yourself so my friend here we receive a blessing in every way even when they are against me i receive a blessing for you hate me for what i do if I'm a person who goes speak about how to make a phone or review a phone, nobody will hate me. If I make videos about how uh, to review uh, water or review uh, mineral water, or stupid stuff, nobody hate me. But because of what I do, many they hate me. And that is a blessing for me. For you, you think it's a curse? For me, it's a blessing. Thank you very much for the blessing. Thank you, Muslims, for your blessing. For when you hate me, you are blessing me. Because the Lord, he will give me that. Thank you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. See you soon again. Bye-bye.